there's some youth, uh, but there's a lot of energy with that youth. And uh, every day, you know, the game slows down a little bit. So I thought uh, we were a little bit better, a little bit cleaner uh, technique-wise today as opposed to Tuesday. And that's what we need through these 15 practices of spring is just make incremental steps every day. Yeah, you know, I think that'll work itself out. Um, some of those guys, those again, those super seniors that have been here for a while, you know, you want to keep them sharp and, and sort of work on specific things with them that, you know, you come off of last year's film that, that you want to get better. Uh, but it's really a, a really big time for young guy development. So you don't have to, to stress, put a thousand reps on their legs. You'd rather, you know, get a couple to keep them sharp and clean, but then let them see the field from sort of a coaching lens. And I think you learn a lot from that. You, it's amazing when you have to think outside just your box and now you have to think from a, a bigger picture from the sideline, I think it makes them better players. And so when we turn the coaching hat and you know, whistle and clipboard over to those guys and say, all right, you coach, all right? That uh, it, they take some ownership in that, and it's been good. We have a gotten guy uh, like uh, Derek Jackson back last year in another part of the season, give him some, some games in. Is that a uh, habit to, to be a carryover for uh, from in the winter workouts and, and, and spring practice and all for him to continue to improve? There's no doubt. And really what he was able to do you know, from the injury in spring to uh, the back end of the season. I mean, we may not, you know, we needed him desperately, you know, in those last two games against Louisville and Iowa. And the fact that he was able to play as many reps as he did uh, coming off an Achilles is, is a testament to his work ethic and his ability as a football player to sort of uh, find the ball naturally. There are some things that obviously, you know, you're rusty when, you, when you're when you off that long. Uh, now he's able to uh, basically start with a, you know, a head start coming into spring. And uh, no, he's going to be a big part of this defense. Jordan and JJ, how are they progressing? How big will it be to kind of have both those guys together and help them? Okay, that's, you felt the difference when the both of them were on the field together. It, it's a huge, it, for me as a coordinator, you can feel it. Like when you play with two really big edge defenders. You know, last year, you know, we were so light at outside linebacker, uh, you know, with Jordan being, you know, having to go through some injury stuff and um, that we had to play sort of smaller, you know, which isn't, you know, necessarily the way that, that we've played the previous years. You know, we play base more than, than most. Uh, so to have those two, you know, makes a, it's a big difference for us. And excited to obviously get Jordan back for that super senior year. And then, you know, you get Square and Jaquez in that mix. You mentioned three super senior linebackers at that level. You know, JJ's like a senior. Uh, when you think about how long he's been in this program with a COVID year and all that, it's, um, you know, we got a chance to be really good at that level. But we got to stay healthy and we have to continue to, uh, to develop. Yeah, you know, um, I think Drew Phillips over the first two days has really flashed, uh, which is good. And, you know, he needs to continue to progress. You know, when you think about, uh, you know, some of those guys and uh, he's he's really essentially this is like his second year, even though it's his third year for, you know, some of the time missed. Uh, it's really, you know, essentially like his second. So this is a, a big progression year, um, but he's He's done some good things here through the first two days. Uh, you know, we're, we're bouncing around. I know we're, we're trying some different guys. I know Coach mentioned, you know, we'll try Vito out there a little bit just because of his athleticism and ball skills and instincts. But he's a guy that you can move around into some different spots. Uh, you know, we know what he can do, uh, you know, sort of at that, that medium nickel position. And um, again, that's, you had mentioned before, you know, spring is a time to experiment with a, a few different you know, sort of unique combinations, different positions. What you don't want to do is just say, oh, I'm just going to willy-nilly do some, and all it does is clog their mind with a whole new position. And you can't bounce guys to two or three or four, because unless they've been an 
old guy in the system that understand the entire scheme, all you're going to do is confuse them and slow them down. So, uh, you know, there's a there's a little bit of a, an art to that too. But um, no, I think again, I think our guys are doing well. I've I've been uh, pleasantly surprised. Obviously, you know, losing Josh, losing Marquan, you know, uh, younger. <laughs> you know, you, you think about the. I think the the oldest guy up front there in the D line uh, is that class with Justin and Josiah, and they're they're really essentially sophomores, um, you know, going into their third year in the program. That's the oldest you have up there. So, a lot of youth, um, but there's some talent, and they're playing with a lot of energy uh, so far. And you know, Coach Stewart does a great job technique-wise with those guys. Yeah, I think they're going to do it sort of collectively as a group. I don't, I don't know uh, if there's necessarily one person that's going to do. I think they're all in that room and to hold themselves accountable. I think having such strong leadership at the linebacker level, you know, you sort of instead of making it sort of separate position groups, it's sort of a front seven. And they're going to feed off of Square and Jaquez and Jordan Wright and J.J. Weaver, guys that have been around it, and they're sort of surrounded in that umbrella, you know, of leadership right there. Um, but you've got guys in that room. You've got Ox and you've got Trey, and we're going to push, you know, Justin and Josiah and uh, some of those guys that have been around the longest. They need to start, you know, elevating and. I think they've done a good job. Sam and Ollie has been a, a really good job in there in terms of uh, holding each other accountable. So, uh, again, I think it's it's an exciting room from the fact that there's there's some unknown. You know, I think we're going to have to. It's going to be it's less reliant on a single guy or two guys, uh, and it's going to be more of a group effort there. And I think that excites like. You know, hey, listen, we're going to play. Like, I'm not just going to be standing on the side. We're going to rotate guys through, and we're going to be fresh, and we're going to be active, and then we're going to put the next guys in. And, but they all have to be ready because, you know, you, you sit there with a bunch of veteran linebackers behind you. They're going to want you in the right spot, and they're going to demand that you end up in the right spot. Yeah, you got to you, you sort of have to view that as a young guy a little bit, you know, in that he's learning the system, but he's come in with an open mind. Um, he, he's done well to sort of just fit right into that group. Uh, and so I'm, you know, I don't ever want to say, hey, I'm expecting big things. I, I'm expecting big things from all our guys as they develop. But early on, I just want to see him make improvements day by day, uh, and, and he's shown that. You know, in the way we do things is a little bit different, you know, than, than some other places. And um, but he's he's bought in 100 percent, and that's all you can ask for. We uh, mid-year guys. How what have you seen from that? It's fast. <laughs> it's fast <laughs> for him. Uh, these first two days, it's not high school, uh, and you know, it, it's the SEC. So, but I've been, you know, they're they're competing, they're trying. Uh, you can obviously see that they're swimming a lot. You have to do a lot of coaching, you know, pre-snap with them and as much as you can. But what you kind of want to do is you want to help them pre-snap and then you just got to let them go. And I, I, um, you know it's not always going to be clean or right, but I want to see them play fast. I don't want them thinking throughout the downs. So um, now we're a long way away from seeing if those guys are, are ready. Right, how's the relationship? Yeah, it's great. I mean, you get uh, – he, he's come in again, uh, you know, with a ton of experience. Now, obviously, our system and, and our terminology, just like any other time you have a job transition, you know, there's just some uh, terminology that you have to work through. But um, he, he's been a, a – real. it's been smooth uh, in that regard. Uh, he's been great to work with, you know, really good in the staff room. And, you know, I think at the end of the day, you know, coach with all his hires that he makes, 
Like it's about finding the right fit and people that come in and understand the way we do things and buying into the way we do things. And uh, Mike, no different. Uh, he's done he's done a great job, and um, I don't think you know we're going to see any kind of step back regression, whatnot. So, and it, and obviously he brings a lot of good ideas from different places that he's been. So, uh, we're always looking to push the push the envelope and progress. We can't, we are what we are, you know, from a base standpoint, but uh, if you stay stagnant too long, teams will pick you apart. So we, uh, every year we try to, you know, sort of reinvent ourselves a little bit um, whilst try to stay into the, you know, to our core. You can, yes, one hundred percent. You can see that that he is the confidence level right now is sky high with him, and and he's playing, uh, he's playing fast. You know, he's talking. Um, when, when the when the ones run out, you know, in the past he would sort of defer to the older guys. Now he's out there and he's the one. You know, you know. I say hyping them up, but you know the nice thing is our, our old guys—they're they, pretty juiced to start. But but he's—you can vocally hear him, which is which is a great sign. And he's coaching the young guys. He's coaching, uh, you know, those those next guys that come in. He stands right on the sideline. <laughs> I was joking with him after practice one. I said, "Hey, look, we're playing with 12 on the field," because he was on the tick marks on the sideline trying to coach up a young Jack. Um, so he's. He's very involved, and I'm I'm looking forward to a really big season from him. Yeah, so you know you've got Justin, you got Josiah, um, you know, and you got uh, Jamarius, you know, Dinkins in there, and all three of them um, sort of provide. You know, Justin Josiah a little bit the same, but still have some differences in terms of, uh, you know, how they play. Um, Justin's like a block of granite in there, just really hard to move. You know, uh, Josiah's, you know, done a nice job showing some quickness in his movement this spring. And, and Dink, he's a, he's a taller, longer, uh, you know, nose right now for us. And he, he creates all kind of problems, kind of like Hugh did, you know, when you, when you're longer in there, you can get on the center so quickly with your hands, and and he's so heavy. He's got heavy hands. He's got a heavy sort of dense body that uh, he's hard to move out of there. So, um, not nearly sort of. We're not as experienced as we were maybe in the past. But you think about how many reps you know Justin and Josiah have in them. Like those, I mean. I don't look at them as new. I look at them as, hey guys, you guys have started games before. You guys have played significant snaps. When Marquand, you know, got hurt in Florida, and you know, series two. I mean, those two had to take the bulk of the reps, you know, essentially for five straight games, five six games. So, um, I'm gonna count on those two big time, and then uh, I think Dink's gonna progress good for us. Talk about Vito being moved. Yeah, you you got to be careful. Again, it's you know he he's he's already had to move around you know a couple of different places. You know, safety. You know, when he first got here, and then you know down, and we needed him so much last year at medium, uh, so that you know out of corner. The nice thing is the the positions that he's played in that strong safety field corner. You know. Uh, medium position are all within the same sort of field triangle. Uh, so you've got an idea of what that other position was doing ahead of time because in most cases you're all three working in tandem. Um, so you got to be, again, smart in, in that realm. It's a little strange to look at that safety spot at times and there were some guys that have been around forever <laughs> yeah. and not, not back there. You know what? It's it's the nature of college football. You you get used to looking out there in spring, and you know guys change numbers, and you know seniors graduate, guys declare, or whatever, and so you get used to it being a different group. But yeah, that's I mean, 29 had been back there a long time. 
Um, and, and obviously, uh, wish him nothing but the best. And he's going to have a, a heck of a uh, career there in the NFL. Um, but I'm excited. You know, I think getting Ty back was was big. You know, again, another super senior back there. And then uh, Jalen Geiger playing as many reps as he played last year. To he, I think he's sort of brimming with confidence. Uh, which is good. Like he, he needed to, and he's starting to find his voice. That's a big challenge for him. Is hey, be loud. You know, Yusuf for three years was sort of the ultimate verbal communicator in the back half, and now we have to find sort of a new mouthpiece. And um, those guys have to step up. Obviously, uh, you know, Ty, you know, has been around, so he knows, you know, which checks to make and all. But um, we need both those sides. All right, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you, Brad. Um, it's a pretty fun experience. Um, I've basically been doing it for a couple of years now, um, so it's not nothing new. Um, so it's just it's just fun. I'm just being myself um, and just coaching up the young guys, trying to get them to see things like the way I see it, or trying to ele help elevate their game, like just a, like from a player's perspective instead of like always it coming from coaches. And I feel like they they taking it in like sponges and they. Um, Reciprocating it on the field, and it's, it's been a, it's been fun so far. Yeah, pretty much. Like coaching down the road, you think it's possible? <laughs> it's possible, but I, I watch, <laughs> I watch what they um, do, and it's definitely it's definitely something that you have to like really think about before you consider it. Um, yeah, I had to I had to look past like um, that and like the feeling and just to think about like uh, what would be the best for my future. And I just thought coming back with a, I looked at the pros and cons and there's a way more pros than um, cons. So. What's it like looking, you know, down in front of you, not seeing those familiar faces, Josh and Bullock, you know, looking at playing our football game? It's definitely it's definitely different because. Um, I've been for it's, I'm going on my fifth year and um, a lot of it's like a, a lot of new faces, not a lot of familiar faces, and um, it's, it's fun. It's fun though, but c because like you get to see like the next and upcoming talent, and you you get to be there and watch them grow, just like how seniors and juniors when I was a freshman watch me grow. So it, it, it's pretty fun. I, I like it. I like the challenge. He's a cool guy. He's a uh, very knowledgeable. Um, I feel like I can learn a lot from him. Um, he's he's always here. He's learning. He's learning the defense pretty fast, and um, I like the way he coach. I feel like he um, he worked with worked with a lot of DBs at his time and been a defensive coordinator. And I feel like he's gonna he's gonna help my game in a different way, like in just in like uh, the pass coverage, which I something I really want to work on, becoming a better pass defender. So I feel like he's gonna he's gonna help me a lot in that area. What's it like having two students out there for Kinda, it's it's been it's been pretty chill so far. I ain't had to yell at me, so <laughs> I'm cool. Yeah, I come up with any like nickname or anything to differentiate them. Nah, I just call them Coach Mike and then Coach uh, Stoops. Coach Stoops. Uh, the linebacker room is a uh, you know they had a lot of guys that played last year. They're pretty deep there. You think it's something where the rotation could be a little bit more heavier with you all this year? Mm -hmm. That's that's what um like we were planning to have um like a. A nice rotation so that um, starters aren't taking as much of a, a load uh, like we did last year. Because if you want to win the SEC, you got to have uh, valuable backups and people that can uh, play a decent amount of snaps and, and be just as good as the starters. So, and I feel like we have that at the linebacker position. So, yeah, I can see a lot of rotation there. I think they, they respect me a lot more. I think like my word is uh, more credible and um, they look at me like differently for continuing to play that game and it just it makes our bond stronger and I feel like when they when they when a young guy sees some like an older guy do something like that then it just makes it more important for them. Like they're not gonna 
just slack on every whip. They're gonna work harder because they see like me or any other older guy work harder. So I feel like it, it just made their mindset stronger. Um, pretty early, but I watch like my young linebackers, uh, Trevin and Martez. They they coming along pretty nice so far. Um, even with this new offense, um, it could be difficult at times, but seem like they they're taking what they learned last year and applying it um, to these first two early practices. So, feel like they can have a nice jump. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty similar to, um, the last offense that was there with it, with his own little wrinkles and kinks, but, um, I, I like it so far. It's definitely, um, something that I like going to watch film. Like I, after practice, I'm probably gonna go up there, take a shower, go up there, watch some San Fran, um, film and watch the practice from today. Cause it's a very interesting offense. It, it's, they throw weird stuff at you to try to violate your eyes, but I, I like it so far. Uh, Coach Stoops, he, he's like a mastermind of defense, you know. I think the real adjustment is just like the communication, you know. Him coming from FAU, he's used to, you know, their communication. and get, Just getting adjusted to our communication, that's the biggest thing. But it's, it's been great so far. Are you and DeAndre in there teaching him the terminology there in the meeting room? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He liked to go back to the FAU, but we got to remind him he's in Kentucky now, so, you know. <laughs> Uh, really, I just want to improve in all areas. I feel like I still have a lot left in the tank before I take it to the next level. So that's like just going to be my main goal, just to, you know, showcase every everything. You know, being here last year, it was my first time in the defense. So I, you know, I ain't like, I couldn't play as fast as I wanted to, but I feel like this year is, is just going to be different. Really just building on it, building on it. I say, like, a lot of times I was just out there running around and I'm making plays. So, like, my thing is, what can I what can I be like when I know what the offense do? I know what my people behind me are doing. Basically, I just know what everything is going on. I feel like it's going to be a, a dramatic change. You said you came here because uh, you wanted to expand your game. You wanted to get more into the overall uh, uh, level playing, the position of just being a one stopper. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's really my main goal this spring is to uh, be better in space, like in my coverage. And I feel like these past two days, it, it's been the best I've played in coverage so far. So it's just how can I continue to build on it each day? DeAndre talked about that, you know, improvement in coverage too. Is that kind of a point of emphasis for y'all this spring, work on that pass coverage? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we all know we can stop the run. But, you know, in today's game and at the next level, is how can you play in space? How can you cover tight ends and backs? And I feel like that's what we're working on. Oh, yes, sir. So, like, instead of doing run fits and run drills, we we really doing DB drills. It kind of caught me off guard at first because we backpedaling and all that, but I feel like that's what we need, and that's how the, uh, to get, today's game is. You guys have some quality depth at tight end. How does that help you, you know, covering those guys up there? Uh, it's, just, it's just big. Like, today is my first uh, day guarding Key Upshaw. You know, last year he was hurt, and that's, that's a big guy. That's a big guy. So, it's – like guarding guys like that is gonna help improve me a lot, improve me a lot. Just getting it in practice, and knowing that's really beside Georgia the biggest tight end I'm a really guard. So you know, it's it's, it's a good work. There was a lot of hype about him going into last year. Have you seen him kind of pick right up where? He yeah. So today he did a route. He did a route. It caught me out guard. I dropped my helmet because like he looked like a wide receiver out there, and I had to come dab him up. Even though he's going against my defense, I had to come dab him up. So I feel like he's going to help us out a lot this year. Anybody else? Very good. All right. I got one more follow-up. Go ahead. No, no problem. No problem. The guys in front of you, a lot of changes there. You know, some guys moving on, Josh and, and Bully. How different is it you know, looking out in front of you and seeing some of those fresh faces? And, 
I feel like uh, for me and Square, that's like that's what our biggest emphasis on this spring is getting the guys comfortable in front of guys like Khalil, Justin, uh, Sam, uh, Henry. You know, just get them comfortable. You know that we we got you behind it. Just hold hold them up up front. We gonna come through and make the play. So I just feel like just getting them comfortable. You know. Don't don't think too much. We're gonna make you right. So I just feel like me and Square, that's our job to lead them boy lead the whole defense, really. You're the second guy that's brought up Sam today. Have you seen a real big jump from him from last year? I have. I have. I ain't really get to uh, practice with him a lot last year, but from this year his is he he's doing really good.